Okay. It's the fourth round, and I think they've stemmed they've stemmed the stream of blood anyway. Good corner men, very experienced men. There's a real steely look of determination on Hawkins' face, Jim, as he came out for this round. He's, he's really, he's, he's saying to himself, I'm going to get this guy out of there, because you can just, you can see by the determination on his face as he left the corner. He wanted to have this a boxing fight, but he now wants it a, a punching fight so that he can get it over with. Watch your hands, watch your hands, watch your hands. There's no doubt he deserves to be ahead, because he's boxed really, really well. We used the expression earlier on there, the textbook, and that's indeed what it is here from Hawkins. Any coach in any gym would like to see that the left jab, the right to follow. He's that accurate with his punches, Jimmy. You would swear they're being getting him by laser. You know, he just he never misses the, the target at all. Just bang, 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 and hits it every time. Brick! He certainly I mean seldom out of range. Connor's looking for a way out. There's no way out there. If there's one place in the whole world of sport you cannot hide, it's a boxing ring. See a lot of blood on the left eye now of O'Connor. Again, that right hand coming in from Hockey and beautiful right hand. And if he piles the pressure on here, he's hurt O'Connor. If he piles the pressure on, there's a good chance that he can end this with you know within this round or within the next couple of rounds. Just keep the pressure piled on. Because we see when you have them on their own, keep them there. Find that right to the body again. While with his right hand. See, there's a slight nick on uh, O'Connor's left left eye there, just uh, up where the eyebrow is. Not a dangerous cut, but there's a, there's a nick there and, and there's blood. There's, there's a slight uh, bit of blood. And the one on Hockey's right eye is not giving him any trouble at all. It apparently has not reopened. Good left hand there from O'Connor at that time. Last ten seconds. Stop holding, guys. Stop holding, that guy. Stop boxing. End of another round, and again, hockey and run. Okay, box on. So here we go with the fifth, halfway through this one. I think both injuries are tidied up for both men. But they'll know tomorrow that they've been in a fight. It'll be an aspirin morning. You can guarantee tomorrow morning, Jim, these guys will be very sore. Every muscle in their body will ache. Oh, that's a nice one-two from Hogan guy, again. Guy. Just bang on target again. He just can't mess with that. Every time he throws it, it lands. Stop holding, stop holding the guy, stop holding the guy, stop holding. Stop holding, Steve, stop holding. Break! Oh, step back. Now, can Hockey and Hockey's probably taking it a little easier on this round. Oh, another cracking right hand from Hockey and again, land a bang on the money. Good stuff. See that uh, more blood on the left-hand side of O'Connor's face. Something around his ear as well, I should think. Well, this has been pretty much an exhibition from Stephen Hockey. He's boxed brilliant. There's no doubt about that. This division is light welterweight, ten stone three and a quarter each man. That's with a bit to spare for that uh, limit for the light welter. If only he had a bit more power, Jimmy, he'd be knocking boys out left, right and centre. 
because his accuracy is perfect. Uh, if you could Would imagine you him boxing as an amateur and on the uh, score pads, he'd be scoring regularly and he'd probably have won this now in the 20-point rule. Where if you're that much ahead, it's stopped because the opponent has no chance. He certainly outboxed him. His accuracy is amazing. He's kept it up right to the fifth round. But in fairness to O'Connor, he stayed right in there. He hasn't been phased by it at all. He's doing his best to get his own shots off. But defensively, Hawkins good. And Brick! certainly offensively, very good. Oh, that's a cracking right hand there. Pile the pressure. That hurt. And now that he has him hurt, bang, pile the pressure on. That was a cracking right hand. That's brilliant stuff again from Hawkins. And O'Connor must be fed up with that right hand landing on his left jaw. As Dave McCauley says, if Hohian just had a KO in that right hand, one of the times it lands is bound to be put the man away. And that's the end of the fifth, there's only three left. Keep it clean. Good scrap. So it's the sixth. Now can Hohian keep building on what he's been erecting up to now. A very stylish, points-grabbing right. performance. <laughs> Stop boxing. Stop boxing. OK, come on, keep your head. Watch your head, watch your head. Okay. Right. OK, man. OK, box on. Left eye is uh, in a bit of trouble here from uh, O'Connor. I'm not surprised because that right hand's been landing around, around there so often. Let's watch it again, left lead, left lead, and there's the right hand again. It's amazing how many times it's landed in this contest. It's equally so that O'Connor is still there, taking the stick. O'Connor's one tough cookie now, he is, he takes the shots well. I know Hawkins is not a devastating puncher, but... He is again what's going in the trade or what's going in the trade, Jim, Jimmy, as a hurtful puncher. But he, he's hit O'Connor with so many right hands. I'm surprised that it hasn't worn this guy right yeah, there. You know, he's, and he's still there and he's still coming forward and he's still trying. To his eternal credit, there's that right hand got through to O'Connor again. But as you say, he can take a shot, and my goodness, he's taken a lot of them in this one. Apart from the left jab, which is catching him regularly, but the right hand coming in. There's that right hand again from Hohian. But this man doesn't want to take a count. He doesn't want to take anything. He needs no respite. Really tough. In many of these fights in his lifetime, he'll be talking to himself in his 50s. Oh, Left lead again from Hohian. Tries the right hand over the top. What's he can point his Right now, O'Connor's left jaw must be numb. It's quite amazing. There it scores the right hand again. Time after time, it's catching. Watch your heads, watch your heads. In there. You can see now by the way uh, O'Connor's delivering his punches, it's, you know, everything's getting a wee bit too tough. Oh, the cracking body shot the left hook. That hurt, and that's not the one of his heels. That may be the one. I think David Irving has seen enough. And he's a compassionate man, is David. And I think when O'Connor looks back on the videotape of this, he will concur with the referee. Stephen Hockian! Nice performance, Stephen Hockian. And young O'Connor has nothing to be ashamed of. He is a fighter, that's for sure.